What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video for today's rad movie review. We are going to be discussing Barbie. Yes, me and my wife, we took the kids out to go see Barbie and was it an event? Yes, it was quite an event. The theater was still packed everywhere, just seats everywhere and the whole entire theater was laughing and having a blast. So today we're going to hear my positives, the negatives, and then the rating and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So Barbie is the new film directed by Greta Gerwig and based on the popular Mattel figure that's been in decades, just decades, just been selling out Barbies and dolls forever and stuff like that. And this film centers around Margot Robbie, who plays Barbie, who actually lives in Barbie land. So Barbie land is populated with Barbies and Kens of all different ones. All the different Barbies and Kens that have been released over the decades and the years live in this land. And it's kind of like a separate dimension, almost like in the same plane as like Earth, you know what I mean? Our real world. You can get to there from our real world and stuff like that. And Barbie has an existential crisis when she finds out that her feet are flat and she might not be the perfect Barbie girl or the the one that she's, you know, pictures herself to be and things start going wrong. She gets help from, you know, our weird Barbie who's, you know, been in the, the trailers. We love Kate McKinnon as weird Barbie. She was fantastic. So let's discuss the positives right away. And first of all, actually, before we actually get into the positives, <clears throat> I kind of want to talk about something else where... This film, I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter and a lot of people talking about how they don't want to see this film and, you know, people on Twitter just blowing this film up for it being, like, anti-men or woke, which I'm going to be totally honest and real with all you right now, that is complete fucking bullshit. And if you want to talk about woke, well, you know, we've had, go decades, decades back in the making, we've had woke movies for ever, for, like, for the decades, you know, since the 70s we've been having woke movies, so... You need to fucking knock it off with that kind of shit. The major thing about this film is discovering yourself and finding oneself and not being afraid to be your true self, you know what I mean? So it's a it's a journey of self-discovery, not only for Barbie's character, but also for Ryan Gosling's character as Ken. They both go on a journey of self-discovery and are different characters from the beginning. They are different people at the end of the film. So that's what I love about this movie. It has a clear-cut journey that leads right into our positives right now. We're kind of going smooth. We're going smooth along. That leads right into our positives is I love the fact that it does focus on Barbie and Ken, both main characters. And like I said, they have clear-cut journeys throughout the film. And at the th by the time you get to them in the third act, they are different, you know, Barbies and Kens than they were at the beginning. So I love that. Add to that, the cast of Plenty did a fantastic job. Simu Lu, Ryan Gosling, Margot Robbie, like, they all did great. America Ferreira, like, just fantastic. Kate McKinnon, like, I was laughing. The whole theater was just really feeling it. The comedy, it's a fast-paced movie, too, because when I saw the runtime being an hour and 55 minutes, I was worried that I would get bored. I was like, this. I feel like this is going to be too long for a Barbie film, but it goes, it goes. And the way that the editing is... The coloring and just how you know how masterfully directed it was by Greta it really does flow and it doesn't feel like a two-hour movie another thing like I said the comedy for me lands a lot I would say 75% of the time there's a parts of it I would say like 25% of it there are parts where the jokes didn't land or it was kind of cringy but most of uh, most parts of the movie 75% of it I was totally enjoying it laughing my ass off and there's some negatives and stuff this isn't a perfect film when we get to the negatives we'll discuss that you know it has to do more with the comedy and certain characters so when we get to that part we'll talk about that but yeah in terms of our main cast fantastic job and the central theme and story of the film I like because it focuses, like I said, not just on women or men. Women are a big focus in this. Like, let's not get that wrong. They're a hardcore main focus in here. And I love that because America Ferrera herself, her character has a fantastic scene, probably I want to say in the beginning of the third act, a big dialogue scene that I want to say is about four or five minutes long where she just does a fantastic job. It's a beautiful job of portraying what it's like and what it feels like to be a woman, not just like right now, like just in any time 
at any place what it feels like and the pressures and stuff that happens like it's just expertly executed the way it was written the way she acted it i love that part but like i said the men have just as amazing cool things too like you know ken and simu lu have this fantastic dance number and singing moment that i just couldn't stop like for real i need more films with them too because i feel like ryan gosling and simu lu just had like this really good chemistry on screen so i can see them being in future films together like a buddy cop comedy thing like the nice guys that he did with russell crowe something like that like get simu lu to be in the sequel to nice guys and sign me up that's an easy ticket for me now let's get into the mixed and negatives because like i said this was a great film i had a fucking fantastic time with it but this wasn't a perfect film let's get that right across is that I feel like there are some characters in this film that are a little bit underdeveloped and I'm talking about I love the daughter character which is uh, Merrick Ferrer's daughter like that character and she's ties in really well with the whole mom and daughter thing and the the way that they both look at Barbie and you know perceive Barbie from the older generation to the younger generation so I like that but I feel like it's a little bit undercooked. I feel like we could have had a little bit more with them to have it feel more monumental, more emotional when they have that resolution together and stuff like that. Also, with the comedy aspect, I really, really didn't like Will Ferrell. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not the best or the biggest fan best. I'm not the biggest fan of Will Ferrell. I do like some of his films, but in terms of just his casting in this film, I think he was horribly miscast. I really didn't like him as the boss man or the leader of Mattel I thought a lot of the sequences with the businessmen and the heads of Mattel I thought that stuff was very cringy so that's what I was talking about in terms of the 25% comedy that I didn't like because they're not in the film a whole lot but there is a, a side plot chunk with them and I just was I found myself kind of just being like Ugh, like more than you know actually like liking the comedy but in terms of an overall thing Barbie I think fucking lands it has a really good theme Two really good actors, you know, Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling that carry this film and really have these amazing journeys throughout the film and this fast paced editing, the colors, I must say too, the colors, the production design, spot on, like some of the stuff, like I didn't even play with Barbies, but I knew of Barbie and knew like of the Barbie camper or this kind of Barbie and like to see them in real time or to see how they were executed on screen. It was really fantastic. Now we must nail down the rating for Barbie, and in terms of a rating, Barbie in my book is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. This is a very enjoyable film that I highly recommend checking out in theaters because this is one that I think that has strong messages, strong themes for just every generation, all kinds of people, and I love that. And a really good freaking cast, like good director, so I think it's a film that's totally worth watching on the big screen, and like I said, I had fun with it. But these are just my thoughts, my opinions on Barbie. That means I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your thoughts and opinions on this film. We don't have to all agree. That's the best thing about us, you know what I mean? We have good discussions in the comments, but please be sure not to spoil. This was a non-spoiler review, so don't spoil down in the comments. And also, like and subscribe and have that notification bell poked. All those things help out the channel and you'll be notified anytime I post videos. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.